All right, so the differences between the the keyboards, uh, there isn't that many differences, but um, I'll just quickly highlight what what the issue, what the differences are. Firstly, you'll notice that there is an eject um, uh, button, which the newer MacBooks don't have because uh, they don't have a drive. Um, so the anything two thousand and thirteen onwards, um, sorry, the late two thousand and twelve and two thousand and thirteen onwards don't have. Um, a drive. So with the MacBooks, uh, first uh, difference is this key here. Um, I don't really know how much anyone uses it, but it's just just for the sake of pointing out, this key here is different on the US MacBook. Uh, the next one, probably most used um, by the return key is. Uh, the currency. So on here, on the on the number two, you'll have an at and a euro key, um, and number three there is a, a pound sign. Whereas on the American version, there's the at on number two and a hash uh, key, or as they call that, a pound key. So that's what you have on the number three for the for the U.S. version. And the last difference, probably the most noticeable, if you're if you're touch typer or you know you, you're kind of used to the return key, is is uh, the shape of it. So in the American version, uh, you actually have the position completely different. So you have um, the a backslash uh, and bar, which, which is completely different on uh, on the American version. Other than that, there's no differences or anything that you would notice. There's a few labeling differences, I'd say, but there's nothing, um, nothing significant apart from these four items. So again, just to repeat, it's the return area, the two and three key, and um, the key underneath the skip. Okay, so I've got the MacBook Pro uh, power supply, and this is um, I got the US version. So this is what I received. Um, I'm just going to show you the differences, really. So the plug is, uh, as you can see from the US, all you literally need to do is just get one of these adapters. You can get them for a couple of quid off eBay or um, you know anywhere local, and that just quite happily fits in there. Um, or you can just, if you wanted, you can uh, just remove this um, and fit a, fit a supply onto that, so it's no problem. So it's just one of them, and you can you can get a direct adapter uh, for it from um, Apple or again eBay or anywhere, uh, and it's as simple as that. So then that's the main differences. Okay, so you've decided which MacBook you want to buy. Uh, for me, it was the 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina display, the all singing and all dancing with the dedicated graphics. So once you've decided which one you want, you need to get the model number. Um, so just quick Google model MacBook Pro. Uh, and then go on to the Apple website. The first link it should tell you, so you can find out what model numbers there are for the 13 inch. The one I'm after is the 15 inch, late 2013, um, the 2.3 quad core, 16 gig of memory, and the 512 of flash. So I want the, the all out. Now the XX here, that dictates which keyboard you have, so which keyboard layout you have. Um, so the so the model number here is ME two nine four, um, and that that's what I'm after. So what you can do is quickly. There's a few sites that sell them. You can either check on eBay. Uh, the ones that I probably prefer buying from is either Play.com. Oh, they've changed their name now. Um, Uh, so as you can see here, they have it for one nine two five, which is actually more expensive than what it was on last time. I think they had it for 
1,700 pounds uh, GB pounds. If not, you can try Amazon. So you can see here the 15 inch 2.3 16 gigaram uh, the one with the the dedicated graphics the GT um, 750 and it's on for 1678 that's usually what I see them for um, so from here this is where you can decide uh, most of the ones that are on Amazon are uh, eBay and play.com they usually are the US keyboard. You can confirm from the sellers, but they are usually the US uh, keyboard, keyboard layout, even though it says B, the B stands for the UK version. Um, but they always tend to be the uh, the keyboard layout, tends to be the the US one. The original Apple price, which is 2199 for the exact same thing. Now for the differences that I've described earlier, the, the differences in the keyboard and the power supply, for me personally, the cost benefit outweighs uh, the difference. So I'd rather get the US version uh, personally than actually get the the out and get it directly from Apple. As long as you get it from Amazon or somewhere where they can give you a valid receipt, um, when registering for your warranty, Apple will request for the receipt. Once you upload, you can either fax them directly or upload it. Uh, on the link that they provide, um, Apple usually approves that and they give you the, the standard year's warranty with it as well, uh, which is no problem. Again, the, the warranty is worldwide. So this this is how this is the option that I went for. The price difference for me was a better option to save the £521 than go for a UK version, which the differences, in my opinion, aren't significant to warrant going for the UK version.